you nervous? Hey Free Game, we are coming to you live, but not live, from the front room again in London. This is the home, this is the place where it all begins. And this morning has been a marvellous morning. The weather is not living up to spring, still, but we've got up, we've done yoga. I had pretty much of a sleep in, I've never had a sleep in like that in about eight years, nine Except o'clock. Tim, I got up at seven, you got up about ten. Yeah, I have images of you coming and tucking me up even more. Normally, this is why I've never been able to sleep in, because normally she comes and messes with me if I'm sleeping, don't you? Yeah, I do. How did you resist temptation today? Well, no, I did. I was taking pictures of you. because you, no, you looked so sweet laying there. And you just, oh. I remember that now, yeah. Yeah, and I took a picture of you. And then you opened your eyes and ruined it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't get into pose mode while half asleep. Can't imagine that's a good picture. But no, we've had some good fun. Jojo's doing his learning right now. You're writing something, aren't you? <laughs> Is it top secret what you're writing? Yeah, really I know. And you can tell by the light box that he took control again from previously it said Jamie is amazing, which he is, but he wanted to do something for everyone. Best love forever. He he's still insists on covering up. Top secret information. It's about science. It's about science? Mm. Okay. And just a quick update on Jamie. Now Jamie's here, she's gone for another job interview today because the bike saga has continued. She's had to just give up her last job because obviously it requires her riding the bike. But on the way to Brighton Veg Fest the other day, the replacement of the replacement bike after the previous one got stolen. Broke down. Broke down. This is a courtesy bike which shouldn't have any faults. I think she's accepted the fact that, yes, it is time to give up the riding of a bike. She's gonna look at lessons for a car. I said to her, the universe is trying to tell you something. You are not meant to have a bike. She's yeah. not meant to have a bike. It's alarmingly clear now. They're gonna bring her another bike, I think, and there's like four bikes in the space of a month or two, isn't it? Well, she's gonna learn how to ride a, uh, ride a car. No, she's gonna ride a car, yeah. She's gonna sit on the top like a siren and go, woo! I'm gonna learn how to drive a car now. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start getting her some lessons. She likes to have her independence, doesn't she? Yeah, exactly. And I understand that. As much as we had resistance to the moped situation, we'd rather she has independence in a clearly safer way. But speaking of Jamie, today's video is actually about something Jamie is doing. This is something which we just stumbled across. We found a pamphlet in her room of information on giving blood. It was when she got her driver's license, she decided to become a organ donor. And so they ask you, also, would you like to give blood? And so she was like, yeah, I'll do that. And I was like, wow, that's really brave. So yeah. yeah, so even though she's still a teenager, she's actually old enough to do yeah, it. Yeah, 17 and over, isn't it? She's a bit nervous about it, but I think, no, it's a really cool thing. She can save lives. It's a real selfless act and there's nothing for her to benefit from it. And there was no talk from us. She got the information and she made her own choice. And so you know, we want to share our lives, all aspects of our lives. And even though this might be a nervous thing, thing she wants to share it with other people because she hopes that other people can feel inspired to try and help out the best they can as well. Do you remember what I told you Jamie's doing? Uh, giving blood at a hospital. Yes. So why do people give blood? Can you remember? It's because to help other people that have accidents, like very big accidents and people also lose blood. So that's why someone else gives blood to them. Mm. Or it could be people that are very, very sick. Yes, mm -hmm. or have like a broken leg or something like that. Yeah, some people need blood to stay alive. They need other people's blood. So Jamie's gonna be saving people's lives, isn't she? Mm. Do you want to do it when you're older? Maybe. What age do you think you would do it? Around 23. 23. Maybe a year earlier. What would that be? A year earlier. Than... <laughs> <laughs> 22. Actually, yeah. 22. What are you doing there? Ed editing. Oh no. What are we doing in that car? Nattering nonsense. When I put in a file and I see it's seven minutes of talking in a car, I'm like, oh my god, what they've gone on about. We just forget that the camera's rolling, I think. Yeah. What's that? I was singing the song that me and Jamie sung in the car. Ah, uh, that was really nice everyone's feedback on that. That was a real surprise for me because you guys filmed it and then later on I'm editing it and then I know that she sings that song, we've heard her sing it, but then you start singing it together and you listen and I just start getting all teary watching it. Yeah. My girls! It's really nice, people said they liked us yeah, singing. it was beautiful. I never thought people would like me singing. You've got a lovely little voice. Thanks daddy. As long as it stays little, we all know the big voice in the house is me. No, 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 no. You can sing, but sometimes you try too hard. Me? You know? Yeah. How dare you? Comment below, who would like to see daddy let his lungs loose in the car? That just sounds weird. Most things I say sound weird. 
Oh. Luckily, we have editing. What have you done then, Jojo? Are we allowed to hear what you've done now? Yeah, so first of all, he just started naming us as animals. Daddy is a pig, Mummy is a cow, Jamie is a chicken, Sam is a horse, Jojo is a human. Oh, am I a cow? Yeah. Oh, I like cows. And I made the point of, and we're all equal. Mm. And then this one's a bit different. Mummy winks, Daddy stinks, Sam blinks, Jamie likes to make inks, and he puts three A's for that, and Jojo links. What does that mean? <laughs> I just link up things like Lego. Like <laughs> oh, you link Lego? Yeah, like, yeah, like, oh. like this. Like build. I'm always the one that is the butt of the joke. I'm the one that stinks. <laughs> Mommy winks, Sam blinks, Jamie likes to make inks. I would like to make inks too. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? I think we read him too many Dr. Zeus books. Yeah, it does. He's, like, he's like gone into a Dr. Zeus world, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh! Hello! Oh, my life. It's yeah. a very special day, isn't it? So you dyed your hair yesterday, didn't you? Did you do that so it's the colour of the blood that you're going to give? No, it's just my hair colour. Looks nice. How did your job interview go? It was alright. Excited? For what? A new job. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Calm down now. You're gonna blow us away. Oh my god. I have to go somewhere. People give me money for going there and doing stuff. Oh, and I get to spend the money on stuff I enjoy also. Oh. Da oh, Daddy likes to make inks as well. Hey. You like to make inks. Apparently, you do. Right, we're going. Jamie, your room is a tip. I'm a teenager and what? <laughs> I would never said that to my mum. Get over it. Come on, you want to do this, let's go. You want to help me put my shoes on? No, put your own shoes on. Help me. Put your own help shoes on. Me. I'll throw the shoes at you, that's no, about it. I don't want you to throw the shoes at me. There you go. We're on the way. How are you feeling, Jamie? Do you know what she said a minute ago? She turned around and said, do I have to go? Like it's some family outing and we're dragging her to it. It was your choice to do yeah. this. You're getting a lift from us. Yeah. Go. You nervous, Jamie? Uh, yeah. Oh, you'll be fine. To be honest though, Jamie takes pain really well, don't you, Jamie? Really what? Unexpected pain. <laughs> oh, we're asked the person to like surprise you. Okay, right, just have a chat with uh, your parents for a minute. Oh, yeah. I've just wondered, like, do you have to eat anything specific or? you meant to drink loads of water, but I forgot my water. You're meant to drink loads of water, what, beforehand? Yeah. I have been drinking, like, water. Like, so you've been drinking water? But, like, you're meant to drink, like, 500 milliliters, like, right before. Is it true as well that after you've given the blood, they ask that you go on an instant noodle exclusive diet? Obviously. Right. Which means you like got to buy me loads of instant noodles. Oh, okay. I'm surprised they just don't <sighs> grind those up and put them in the syringe and inject them in while they're taking out the blood. Do you know what? Whoever this blood goes to will just get an instant hit of instant noodles. <laughs> or they might just start talking like a teenager. They might start going, My life, this blood's rubbish. Uh, don't like the colour. When they dye their hair, hair like that when they get the blood. Maybe it'll just turn that colour, Jojo. It must be like really amazing though, ha knowing that you're alive because you've got someone else's blood in your body. Yeah, definitely. I watched this thing once where the daughter died and they donated the daughter's heart to somebody else. Yeah. And then like the mum of the, the dead person found the other girl and she put like one of those stethoscopes to her heart and listened yeah. to her daughter's heartbeat but in someone else's body. It's really emotional. It's amazing, yeah, what sort of difference you can make. I guess for you, Jamie, it's just a casual decision, wasn't it? You were just like, yeah, I'd like to do that. Yeah. Have you realised the gravity of how much difference it can make to someone else's life as well, though? No. Apparently it saves, good, giving modest. blood saves hundreds of lives. Jamie, we'll get to find out your blood type. How many types of blood are there? There's some really rare ones as well. I'm going to Google it. Oh. I don't know my blood type. Never do I. Hey, on to the hospital. We're late, can we go? All right, we can't find parking, so you're gonna go and put the car I'll, somewhere. I'll sort the car out, you guys get in. And All Jamie right. found out how many blood types there are. How she many? can tell you everything. Let's go, we're late. <laughs> Shall we tell you in a minute? Right, where do we have to go? Is this the right place? I hope so. Wrong place. Right, this looks like the place. Okay, good. So you got to drink some water first, yeah? How much? Half a litre. So you got to read that. They've given you all that to read. Bob's taking Jojo to the park. There's nothing in here for him to do, is there? I'm just going to wait till we see. Why have they got an atlas in here? Tell me, why have they got an atlas in here? Why the hell did I? Good. 
drink your water. Are you scared? She just said to me, she's trying to figure out where the people are going. Because like, they keep going in, no one's coming out. but no one's coming out. I'm like, maybe they just attach you to a machine and you just give blood forever. Are you nervous? Are you sick of me asking you if you're nervous? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Good. Drinking the water. Good. Mm. Got to drink a whole glass of water before we go in there. They just stuck that on the door and left her in there. <laughs> what does that mean? Now someone else has gone in and they've stuck something green on the door. What's going on? Oh, she's communicating with me through a door via text. <laughs> What's going on? Jamie's in that room and people keep going in there and coming out and she keeps texting me saying help. <laughs> She's in there, look. Yeah, I think they have to do tests, don't yeah, they? Ah, oh, oh, right. Like they're making sure that she is human. But first they stuck a yellow thing on the door, then they stuck a green thing on the door. <laughs> It looks like there's a different stages. The first stage is the screening room. And I think that's when they check uh, her blood. And then after that, the people sat down over there. Chairs are when they take them off. They just wind down. We will be able to see Jamie's when she gets her done. Ah. Did you have fun at the park? I had loads of fun. What did you do at the park? I did fireman and then dwarf. You played fireman? And dwarf mines. And dwarf mines. Yeah. Wow, that sounds interesting. Where are we going? What happened in that room? Was it scary? I was wondering if you were going to come out up there. Now we're in this area, waiting for you to go into the chair. Yeah. <laughs> the chair. Oh, look. What's Bob doing over there? Is that the one you had earlier or is that a new one? You need a wee now? Oh, are you nervous? I hope they can get a vein out of your arm. She said she might not be able to get one. It hard, Jamie. You want to come and see? Yeah, you want to go see? I'll oh, wait here so it's not too crowded. Can you see, Jojo? No the needle's going into Jamie's vein. It's taking the blood out. It's sucking the blood out. It's a little vampire. coming out a bit slow is it? Yeah they said that until it was there. Your blood doesn't want to leave your body does it? Is it coming out a bit faster now? So your blood's not coming out fast enough. I wonder what that means. I think it's just where you've got small veins isn't it? This isn't a buffet you two. <laughs> There. That man just brought two of his own in oh. and Jojo went to take them and he went no they're mine but he's given him half now. I saw you had a packet of crisps earlier he's had as well. He's packets of crisps and ginger nut biscuits as well. Oh. It is a buffet for Jojo. This is supposed to be for the people that give blood Jojo. You okay? Yeah. What's going on? My blood doesn't want to come out of my body. The blood doesn't want to come out. Just can that blood be used? Not for a donation itself, it can be used for research. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's you good. still get the blood type. Um, since we don't 
blood. Oh, so you don't know what type it is? No. Oh, well, you can find that out another way, I'm sure. So normally, would someone fill up all those bags? Of I mean, just be that one. Other bags are like when the blood gets split into it, just to go through the kitchen today, else we get on and they've got a bit of okay? No phone, no YouTube, no <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Pressure dressing this one, stays on for just half an hour. Ooh. <laughs> so that's all your blood in there, ja Jamie. Yeah. Oh. It's, oh, it's warm. It's not half full though. It's like a quart full. Yeah. She did it. Quick. The miniature. Uh, Oreos are still good. The last pack of Oreos. It's also shortcake biscuits. I know my biscuits. This is not a buffet for you. I haven't had anything. I have, you know. Um, this one's had a lot. Though. Yeah, he, he's he's taking his fill. I'm done. With... I give that to dad. Dad, he'll eat that. So that was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah. You're so brave, Jamie. You're so brave. I'm really am proud of you, though, Jamie, because that was all off your own back. This inspired me to do it as well, especially as you know it's so simple. Oh, yes. You're going to go and do it soon, aren't you, Bob? Yeah. So they took me into a room. Yeah. We know about the room thing. <laughs> Did you see the picture? Wait, they kept... that picture of the blue and the green test tube thing. But, yeah, so people were going in that room. People were coming out. They stuck a yellow thing on the door. They stuck a green thing on the door. They didn't let me go in there. I was like, but I'm her mum. They were like, no, no, no. They dropped it... some blood onto like this blue test tube and it was like meant to like it tests your iron and if it, it's meant to drop within like 15 seconds and mine just it dropped in and went Bloop. so jamie's got really good blood then apparently right so the thing you haven't got that's very good is veins yeah. <laughs> so they're so small that the blood wasn't coming out quick enough no which is why i have terrible circulation and my hands are constantly cold oh right need to exercise more then but um yeah maybe you bike exercise gone more. walk into work every day so the blood they they took they won't be able to use for donation but they said they can use it for research sadly <laughs> yeah. i will not find out my blood type yeah because of that reason she couldn't find out her blood type the good thing is they said to give it about two years maybe veins can open up her yeah more. veins can get bigger and stuff like that so give it about two years and she said you can try again they said they could continue but the machine has a timer on it that's 15 minutes and after that 15 minutes it like cuts off that works for safety reasons otherwise if it doesn't shut off they could just it could just keep taking your blood <laughs> until there's nothing left so if it's not at a certain speed then there'll be no point continuing yeah but you know i know there's that saying it's the thought that counts the intention here is it is what counts you yeah, know they, they'll use the blood for and, and it, you know it's an experience and jojo got to see what was going on and because you decided to do this jamie other people will go oh that's a good idea i might try that you know yeah. so it's raising go awareness it doesn't it's, it's it's raising awareness i, I think your know. expectations of pain it was a lot less than what you thought it could have been yeah was it less painful than you thought I got hit by a car for Christ's sake <laughs> guys <laughs> you know you've actually been hit by a car twice I know you were on your roller skates I was on my hit. roller skates and I got hit by a van and then you got hit by a car on your moped yeah yeah Give it looks blood. like the moped's not a very good idea I don't think you being on Maybe wheels is a good idea <laughs> back to the blood thing so oh, you did really well Jamie yeah. oh there was a lady there as well there she was, was really nice wasn't yeah she? they're all really lovely people weren't they they were just so nice and there was one lady who was like, asking about why we're filming and she's going to check out the channel she was interested in a lot of the food and health related -ish information you were giving her yeah I, I wish i knew her name i didn't even ask what her name was if you're that lady we were speaking to with a very nice curly hair thank you for talking to us we're very you nice got stuck standing at the kitchen food area isn't it nice they had that area well, especially yeah, for people like us who just come and wait it, that food is for the people that give blood and you just thought it was a buffet yeah so well done jamie you did really yeah, well, well. Well done. And I'm going to see if I can give blood as well. I'm not sure if I can, but if I can, I'm going to do it. It's weird. There's so many requirements. I know. They, they, want, <laughs> they want blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man, why didn't we drop that? Anytime they ask a question in there, you should be like, you want blood, didn't you? Yeah, you want blood, don't you? Well, yes. Anyway, home. Go. Hurry up. We are back. And look at all of this mess that Jojo left. Jamie's disappeared into her room as usual. Yeah, Daniel turned up to meet her. Now it's like parents gone. Boyfriend. Yeah. Hello. He threw loads of balls at me. Do you know what? It's one of the most painful things, treading on Lego. You've given birth to three children. How can you say that? Yeah, you think I'd be immune to it by now. Yeah. Oh, right, because I've given birth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's here. Hello. 
his engagement in a game of chess. This is a very tense moment. We have other children. Yeah, some of you have actually asked, it's like in a recent video, where Sam came in, was it Bolognese? I think he just come and took some Bolognese and went. And people were like, who's that guy that just came in? Like some random tall stranger. Yeah. This is our son. He may seem very intense right now, it's because he's struggling to contemplate why it feels like losing to me again. It's been many years since he lost to me at chess. He's probably 12 years old then. Now he's 19 and he's still losing. It's hard. You were the chess champion at school. Yeah, I was. I also played, <laughs> I always say this, I played a Welsh champion when I was like, eight years old and I lost in like five moves. Sam, how does it feel to be beaten by Bob? I haven't what? lost yet. <laughs> oh, he says yet though. You haven't lost yet. You've been yeah. making some stalling moves <laughs> since I got in here. Yeah. Just like provoking him to do something. Well, I know. It's just like, I can just ignore that now. You made your piece. Yeah. Chess piece. Hell yeah. So we swapped one teenager for another one. Jamie's gone out with when her she, boyfriend. When, she, when is she back? She just randomly disappears. She you? goes, Oh, I'll come back and do the roundup with you. And it's dark now. Yeah, it's hard to take Hello. the word. Anyway, um, I, I'd love to chat more, but I'm in the middle of destroying Sam. Goodbye, Rick. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you doing there? Just upside down, but it looks like the camera's upside down. Well, I'm not upside down. Well, it looks like my head is stuck to the ceiling. Alright, I'm gonna, I'll leave you there for a bit longer. Everything's up to down the ceiling. How's the game going, guys? My uh, confidence earlier, probably a bit overshot. It's a very intense game now. Could go either way. Sam pulled out some pretty good moves, which not the smile off my face. I love it, Sam. Remember the times we used to have when you were younger? How you would laugh? He can't even joke now. Look how serious this is. <laughs> Comment below if you think Sam looks like one of the vultures out of the Jungle Book, the original cartoon one. Very funny. Is this game too intense for you? Would you prefer to be camping? Why would I prefer to be camping? Because that's intense as well. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> <seeing him fun. laughs> Wait, did you put him back in the oven? He needs to check the crispiness. He's not confident. Yeah, Sam's not confident that Katie has cooked his chips to the degree of perfection that he likes. He was like, they won't be crispy enough. It sounds like he's plating them up. They're Maybe crisp. satisfied. They're crispy enough, trust this me. This isn't the first time you've cooked chips, right? So Jamie is finally back. She's back with a hole in the arm. Have you got a hole? Yeah, look. Oh my God, look at that hole. And Jojo's coming to look at the hole in the arm as well. It will heal up soon though, Jojo, don't yeah. worry. We're really proud of you, Jamie, for putting yourself forward. And I'm gonna do this at some point as well. It, it's good to know that even if you don't end up giving the full amount of blood that you plan, that they can still use it for research purposes. But she can go back in two years. You just gotta grow your veins. We really appreciate you watching today's vlog, guys. We hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. Just before we finish this video, though, I'm gonna give some shout outs to some of you lovely free gangers who have requested your shout out. So shout out to Sharon J. Smith, who's all the way from Waterville, Maine in the USA. RR Rocks, Harriet Peacock, Molly Lila, and Case Lee Hunt. Thanks so much guys for requesting your shout outs. And if any of you guys want your shout outs, leave them in the comments below and we will do them as soon as we can in the next video potentially. And if you're new to this channel and you like following our adventures, whatever they may be, and want to see our fun Easter videos coming up, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. But if you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we are uploading. And thanks so much guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.